Kathleen, as usual, I take you to the big picture and we spread it out here and show you the wide picture of the Eastern Pacific, the still category four hurricane. You can see the cold cloud tops here and that convection centering or circulating around the center of the storm. There's the eye of the storm right there, but the cloud field stretches all the way up to Cabo now. Cabo San Lucas getting some showers. It's about 340 miles south of there. Now I zoom you in a closer shot of that eye. You can see that well-defined eye right here. You're flying above that. You can see right down the middle of that thing, but winds right now 130 miles an hour moving northwest at 13 still cat four and over the next couple of hours it will continue to churn out there in the warmer waters and I'll show you the sea surface temperatures in a minute but it will weaken as you mentioned a minute ago as it cruises up the Baja Peninsula coastline here a couple things going on I want to point this out here high pressure sitting over the middle of the country the big heat dome in this area of low pressure that's been sitting out here for the past week well this area of low pressure is what's guiding this storm northbound right over Southern California so as we get in the next 24 or 36 hours here's the cone again in the last four forecast models are pretty much on track, staying uh, right near, let's see, Tijuana by the time we get into Sunday afternoon. And then by Sunday evening, you're looking at right along the border there between Mexico and San Diego County. Here comes that tropical storm. And this is at Sunday at 5 o'clock again. There it sits as a tropical storm. Then eventually, as we get into the afternoon through the evening and then late Sunday night, Monday, it makes a beeline right up northbound through Central California. And you're looking at maybe a tropical depression near Death Valley. Again, sea surface temperatures. Here we go. This is Category 4 Hurricane Hillary sea surface temperatures fueling this thing in the 80s right now as it moves northbound makes that beeline in the 70s right there. That's where it starts to weaken runs in some of the land. It's some wind shear that's going to tear this thing apart as it weakens. Now here we go with the watches and warnings. It is official. We have a tropical storm warning. That means in the next 36 hours, tropical storm force winds 40, 50, 60 miles an hour gust up to 75. Now how much rain are we going to get? We'll time that out in minutes here. We're talking about a lot of rain, excessive rainfall, especially for the mountains and the deserts. More on that coming up in minutes. See you then.